Okay, welcome to practice question uh, topic asexual and sexual reproduction. Uh, often you're going to be required to uh, to compare the two and uh, or look for some differences. So this is uh, question one. It's from our page 20 in our unit four student package. So let's get right to the question. Um, use the following information to answer the next question here. And then it lists, it says some events occurring during cell division. Okay, so there's a bunch of different events here and it says four events that occur in both human asexual and human sexual reproduction represented by the numbers. And they want these numbers, this four digits. So first of all, make sure you put four digits. Uh, I'm not sure why, but a lot of people when I'm marking some of the, like the midterm or the final on that, says four digits, they got two digits. Or it asked for two digits, they have four. So please be careful with the amount of digits they want in your answer. Okay, but they want this one uh, in lowest to highest numerical order. So that's ascending order, one, two, three, four, right? So human asexual reproduction, a lot of people are thrown off by that. For some reason, people think asexual reproduction is only for bacteria and different things like that. But humans, we do asexual reproduction as well. So remember, asexual reproduction produces clones, right? Genetically identical clones. So think about that. If I have a skin cell and I want to, uh, I want to produce two skin cells, I want to make sure that those skin cells are identical. I don't want polka dots or all of this or whatever. I want the cell producing two genetically ident identical diploid daughter cells, right? And we know this whole process is mitosis for humans, right? For bacteria, it's different things like binary fission or, or uh, our spores or any of that kind of stuff. But for humans, it's mitosis is our form of asexual reproduction. Form of sexual, of course, is meiosis, how we produce our sex cells. So that's essentially what they're asking here. So they want four events that happen in both asexual and sexual reproduction. So centromeres divide. We've seen that in both mitosis, right? So at anaphase in mitosis, the uh, spindle fibers start to lose some of their subunits and they start to shorten and it pulls sister chromatids and separates them by their centromeres. But that also occurred in meiosis, right? It didn't occur in anaphase one because all we're separating in anaphase one was the homologous pairs. But in anaphase two, yes, we separated those centromeres and separated those sister chromatids by their centromeres. Uh, cytokinesis, so that's one of them. So that one that happens in both of them, so number one. Number two, cytokinesis occurs. So again, cytokinesis is the actual splitting of the cytoplasm. So during telophase or telophase one or telophase two, we do have cytokinesis occurring both in uh, mitosis asexual and meiosis sexual reproduction. So that is one that occurs as well. Identical cells are produced. Well, that might be true for this one, but it's certainly not true for meiosis. Those are producing genetically different gametes. So we can't put that one here. That one doesn't ring true. It happens in mitosis, asexual, but not in uh, sexual meiosis. DNA is replicated. Now, both the mother cell and both the germ cell for sex cells both undergo interface. And part of one of the sub phases of interphase is S phase, and that's where DNA, DNA replication occurs. Happens in both of them, okay? And I think that's in our notes, so that has to be one here as well. Haploid cells are produced. Well, that happens here, right? In meiosis, we're gonna get haploid cells, but certainly it doesn't happen in mitosis. We're gonna produce diploid cells. So that doesn't happen in both, happens in one, but not the other. And spindle fibers form. If you look at all the notes for that, Yes, yeah, spindle fibers are what's required to manipulate those chromosomes during both mitosis and meiosis. That's what's moving and separating those, uh, those uh, chromosomes to opposite poles. So that happens in both of them. So the number that you would actually transfer onto your bubble sheet would be one, two, four, six. That's from lowest to highest ascending order. Okay, any questions on that? Give me a email and we'll go over it. Thanks guys.